Hello, ladies and gentlemen. What does it mean when Jupiter transits a particular house? Like Jupiter is in the sign of Aries now till 1st of May 2024. And depending on my ascendant, uh, the sign of Aries is falling in a particular house. Okay, so we have already discussed that, the retrogression and all this multiple times. But fundamentally, we have to understand that there is a big difference between Saturn entering uh, one sign and giving us the flavor of that transit and Jupiter entering that or Rahu or Ketu or Sun, Moon, Mars. You know, otherwise, what happens is we just see transit videos and we think, oh, every planet uh, transiting, uh, suppose, you know, uh, Aries is your 10th house, which means you are a Cancer Lagna. So you will think, okay, Saturn is transiting. Uh, if Saturn transits Aries, there will be some event in my profession. If Jupiter transits, so will be there an event. Rahu Ketu also, right? Uh, but then uh, it, it's like saying, you know, every planet will give the same result, right? So then what is the difference in the planets? Does it mean that any planet transiting the 10th will give you uh, something related to the profession? Well, that's exactly what we are going to discuss today, all right? So stay tuned and if you are new then please subscribe to the channel below and if you like this video hit the thumbs up at the end of course and if you want a consultation my website is down in the description section. God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him. So Jupiter as we know uh, stays in one zodiac sign for roughly one year and he completes the entire zodiac belt in 12 years, 12 years, 12 signs one year per sign so that means every 12 years jupiter will uh, come back to the same position okay uh, so therefore it is very important because our birthday is of one year you know every year we celebrate our birthday and every year jupiter also changes the sign right so you have to understand what jupiter me what, what what jupiter does when he transits a particular house so what is jupiter basically jupiter is the karaka for optimism for vision for knowledge for expansion for growth for learning for teaching and uh, for spirituality okay uh trying to see things beyond matter so <clears throat> jupiter whenever he transits a particular house in your chart depending on your ascendant it might happen that depending, and now this will depend on your Mahadasha and your Antardasha, okay. But specifically, if Jupiter is transiting a particular house, then you develop some optimism in your life re related to that house, you know. So, as I said, you know, if you are a Cancer Lagna, then currently Jupiter is transiting your 10th house, okay, in Aries. So, it can happen that depending on your Mahadasha and Antardasha, you develop some, um, you get some positive vibes about your career. But is it so simplistic, you know? Yeah, just positive vibes. What do I do about the vibes, right? Is it so, is it very important that I get good vibes? Well, certainly it is, but it doesn't stop there. See, first there is optimism, which means you get some confidence, okay? Jupiter can instill confidence within you. So first, it happens here, okay? Many times people are always focused, okay, this planet is transiting here, there, what will happen, this will happen, that will happen. External things, what will happen externally, right? But first the change takes place here. Actually, first it takes place here, then here, and then here. <laughs> so first heart, then head, and then externals, okay? So this is something very important because if you don't, if you are only focused on the external event, which is again very important and that is something which we will discuss today. But if you are only focused on that, then you will not understand the difference. So for example, if Saturn is transiting a particular house, you have to work hard. The external situations will be very tough. Okay, so Saturn is very much external oriented. Okay, actually he is also very internal oriented because to work hard, you have to also change this. Okay. And even before that, you have to change this. <laughs> so first, you get some optimism. Okay, so optimism comes here in the heart. And then there is some, some confidence which comes here. And when you get that confidence, 
you are naturally inspired to act and plan your life in such a way that you can be benefited uh, in areas related to that house. Okay, which means you may see, you may try and see to plan your life in a way that you can take a note of how much time you are allocating to those areas of your life. You know, so for example, if Jupiter is transiting your tenth, like currently for Cancer Lagna, then it is possible that uh, you might actually sit and plan and see what you want to do, you know, because Jupiter is also the Karka for vision. So what is your vision for your profession? What is your vision for work? What What is your conception of work? You know, what is good work? What is bad work in your opinion? And when I say good and bad, I don't mean uh, in terms of morality, but in terms of principle. Okay, so what do you think is good? Should you be, uh, do you think being employed is okay or do you think you should be uh, self-employed or I should be like a freelancer or should I go into business? Should I go into real estate? Should I go into IT? What, what, it, what is it? So when Jupiter is transiting a particular house, if it is transiting the 10th, then it is very important that you try to not just see that area of life as just that area of life okay which means if he's transiting your tent just don't see your career as a as just like a career okay don't, don't see it that way try to see it in a way that you understand that it is a very important part of your life okay but there is much more to uh, the career than just to work okay because if you just say work, uh, then maybe it's the sixth house, but the tenth house is not just work, you know, it's your karma sthan. Because it shows what you are primarily known for, because it's the house of name and fame. So therefore, uh, you are known for, from your work, right? But it's not just that work which you do daily, it's more of like a visionary work which you which leads to transformation of the society. That is the 10th house. That's the difference between the 10th and the 6th. So if Jupiter is transiting your 10th house in transit, then it's very important for you to see why are you doing that job at all? Why are you doing this business? You know, What is that you want to achieve? You know, when the why is clear, the how is not very difficult. You know, should I repeat, when the why is clear, the how is not very difficult. Because many times people don't understand why they are doing things. Now, I know so many people who say, I have no whys. My only why is money. <laughs> why are you working in IT? Oh, I want money. I did uh, engineering in, uh, suppose, you know, biotechnical, uh, like in my university, in SRM University. Now, there were many people who uh, were in biotechnology, you know, uh, the engineering branch, and then they ended up in IT, okay? <laughs> now, why? I used to ask them, hey, what are you doing? I mean, you uh, did four years biotechnology, and now you're doing, uh, you doing software job. The same thing which I learned, now you, you are doing that. Similarly, uh, people they do computer science then they do MBA and then they go and work in a bank right so <clears throat> sometimes people they don't have any goals the only goal that they have is that they want money which is not a bad goal okay which is not uh, wrong it's not immoral or it's not unethical uh, and it is also a sensible goal sometimes because you need money okay to live in this world but an intelligent person should ask, how can I work in a way that I earn money, but I also get happiness from that work, okay? So if Jupiter is transiting your 10th house, then it is very important for you to figure out why you are doing something. And then the next step is you figure out how should I do it, okay? So Jupiter is more related to figuring out, which means the more you understand things, the more you will know what are the milestones that you will achieve in life, in that area of life, of course. So, for example, if Jupiter is transiting your 10th, then the best thing you can do is, rather than, you know, trying to do everything yourself in your profession, rather than trying to figure out everything yourself, Jupiter is the Karaka for Guru, Guru, is like not just your spiritual, you know, Shiksha Guru, Diksha Guru, but 
the guru can also be somebody like your senior. May not be in your company, but you know somebody. Okay, so try to learn from somebody who is 10 years uh, senior to you. And senior not just by uh, see, seeing years. <laughs> Sometimes some people uh, have seen years, but they are not senior, right? <laughs> senior versus one who has seen years. Okay, so just by seeing some number of years, you know, some decades, you don't become a senior. A senior is one who has a comprehensive understanding of the subject and knows when to do what, where, how, and how much, and, and what also what not to do. So Jupiter is the guru. So try to find some mentor in that particular area of life. You know, it is the best thing you can do. It's like a shortcut. Okay, I'm telling you. Because then that mentor can give you the blueprint, the roadmap. Hey, you are learning this technology, then you will have to learn this, 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 and then you will learn this. And then he or she will also tell you, hey, my dear sir, my dear madam, don't do this mistake that I did. If you do this, then it will cost you. You make new mistakes. Okay, nothing wrong in making new mistakes. So make new mistakes, make your own mistakes, but don't repeat the mistakes that I did. Unless you are very convinced that maybe you should do something similar because something may not have worked out for your mentor, but it does not mean that it will also not work out for you. Or on the other hand, something might have worked out for your mentor, but it doesn't mean that it will also necessarily work out for you. But from the mentor, you will understand what are the things that you can expect? The mentor will tell you, okay, this is where you are going, right? This is where you are exaggerating. You are over expecting. You are underestimating yourself. This is where uh, you can push a bit more, you know, or you should back off a bit, right? So this is what the mentor can actually do. So therefore, try to see why you are doing something, you know, the vision, the vision is very important. Try to try to find fulfillment in that thing. If you don't like your job, then find some job which you like. Okay, or not just your job. You know, it can be like anything. You know, like uh, maybe uh, you you see your job as just as a um, way to sustain yourself, which is perfectly fine, as I said. But other than that, what do you do in the weekend? You know, in the evenings, do you just uh, yeah, do you just scream and complain that my job is very bad? You know, I wish I had a better job. You know, no, do do something. You know, do some side hustle. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's like use social media, put out your content. You know, make videos in YouTube or link write posts in LinkedIn. You know, make Instagram short reels and yeah, I mean these are just examples. Or make your website. You know. Uh, present something there okay register yourself as a freelancer you know if you have any talents try to monetize them if you wish okay so therefore even if you just keep your uh, job as a means to earn money which, which is perfectly fine nothing wrong with it but try to do something else on the side which gives you fulfillment a bit more professionally okay if jupiter is transiting your 10th house for example so then you you know you you just don't see your profession as a means of earning money you know that's like that's like a very unfulfilling and a very narrow thought and then find a mentor so once you find a mentor then things will change so that means every year we should find a mentor <laughs> no because suppose jupiter is in your 10th house now then you need to find a mentor when it comes to your profession because after that, it will again come to the 10th house after 12 years. Oh my God. 12 years. After 12 years, if you are in your 40s or late 30s, then you have to find a mentor who is uh, in his 50s, right? Late 50s, mid 50s, late 50s, then he can guide you. Okay. And then if you are in your 50s, my God, 60s, then 60s, retirement. <laughs> you may think oh what what the hell is this you know we yeah, are transits are going on always you know but imagine the next time when jupiter enters this house you would have spent 12 years of your life just 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 think of it and how many times in your life you know if jupiter is transiting your 10th house how many times in your life will jupiter enter the 10th how many times 
right so 40 years generally is a person's active professional life you know 40 45 years so that means three three transits are guaranteed guaranteed but uh, the fourth one may or may not be you know 48 years but you could say you know maybe three or four times it will transit your 10th house so imagine those times how important it is to find a mentor okay so rather than you know <clears throat> Uh, trying to do so many things when Jupiter enters, you know, you should sit down and visualize, you know, what do you want to become after 10 years in that area of life? You know, for example, Jupiter is transiting in your seventh house. How do you visualize your marriage in the next, not 10 actually, 12 years? <laughs> so if you have marital problems, then you should contact somebody who has a good marriage and take advice from them. Okay. And not just, you know, contact some marriage counselor who can give you some standard advice. You know, somebody who knows you and your spouse, okay? Somebody who knows you and your spouse's ins and outs. They are the best person. And if they also have a reasonably good marriage, so then they are the best person to suggest you. <clears throat> and also at the end, you have to understand that you cannot have a vision. You cannot be optimistic unless you cannot have confidence. You cannot be happy unless you know ins and out, in and out of everything of that area. So this means whenever Jupiter's transit is going on, you seriously need to figure out what is wrong in that area of life. Because without knowing that, how will you know? How What should you do? Right? So... Figure out what is the mistake. You do it yourself. You take help of some counselor. I don't care. You take help of AI. Doesn't matter. Okay. Find the mistake and find how you can rectify that problem. You, you may not have to rectify the problem. That is more when Saturn transits. When Saturn transits a house, there's no time for <laughs> discovery or, you know, uh, trying to figure out you you just have to do it that's Saturn right but Jupiter is a bit merciful in this case he's giving you time that figure out my dear sir my dear madam what's the problem where are you going wrong why are you doing things how can you take a shortcut you know shortcut doesn't mean through some illegal immoral means but you no know, by going to a mentor a mentor is the best shortcut that you can get right <clears throat> So therefore, educate yourself about your own flaws and weaknesses related to that house. Once you do it, then you can actually go and see what you should do. Okay, so when you learn the ins and, in, ins and outs, then you will get confidence. Okay, and because Jupiter is transiting that house, you will anyways have some optimism. So when you have this optimism, you know your faults, you know what to do. Now you are set. Now you can go and do something because 9 out of 10 times I have seen people not doing this homework. So, okay, Jupiter is transiting 10th house and oh, something will happen in the career. My dear sir, why are you doing this uh, job? What do you want to become? Who do you want to become in the next 10 years? These are some basic fundamental questions which people do not People are not able to answer because they are so much caught up in this rat race. And when I say rat race, I am not just meaning a job. I, I mean any kind of profession, you know, job, business, self-employment, whatever. <clears throat> so therefore, when Jupiter transits, these four or five queries are something which are very important. Because remember, again after 12 years, okay, then again 24, 36, 48, and then maybe we are old by then. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i hope this gave you a good perspective on how to uh, study transits of jupiter okay and of course one last thing that i forgot to say about jupiter is expansion which is again you know taking help of mentors reading and expanding your vision maybe sometimes you are unable to find a solution because you are thinking so narrow you know jupiter is expansion you expand your horizon and you will see oh my god there are so many things which I could have seen, I should have seen ideally, but I didn't see because, you know, um, I, I, I thought this is all what life is, you know, this, this frog philosophy, right? When the, there was another friendly frog who came to the well and said, hey, you know, I have come from the Pacific Ocean. 
no the, the, the ocean is like billion trillion times bigger than this well and then this other frog who was eternally conditioned to stay in this well say hey when he heard this that there is a place which is billion trillion unlimited number of times bigger than this tiny well then he told this frog hey you are lying you know maybe you have got crazy how is it possible because he was very focused in his you know well and jupiter in general represents uh, the vishnu avatara is vaman dev so please chant this mantra om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya so whenever jupiter's run, the jupiter has changed the sign he has gone from one house to the other in your horoscope then it is imperative that you chant this mantra in the in the initial at least uh, 3 days okay so today the transit has happened today tomorrow and day after and also 3 days before okay so for these six days, if you chant uh, and you pray to Vaman Dev, uh, you will be empowered to make the right choices and take the best decisions of your life. Okay. So understand that when Jupiter transits a house, he wants to show light to you. Light about your weaknesses, your strengths, your knowledge, your understanding. Okay. And then when Saturn will transit, he will make you do the work. <laughs> okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your patience. If you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who you feel should know about this transit of Jupiter. Okay. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you want a consultation from me, my website is down below. Thank you so much.